Hello, welcome to the series about Rugby League Bet Review for the live game on Sky tonight. It's Wigan against Catalan. The three games tonight, to be honest with you, I think I'd probably rather gone for the St Helens against Huddersfield game. Two teams are in the top four last year, but let's say Leeds were on last night and uh, Wigan tonight. I think Sky like to get the two grand finalists in early, so that's that's where we're left with it. It should be quite a tight game again. Very tight last night, good game, and I've actually got the man in the match, 12 to 1 Kurt Gilly. I hope you're on that. But uh, tonight, uh, Wigan conceding 10 on the handicap, 12 in places. I think that's a lot, you know. It's quite a strong Catalan squad this year. Obviously, you know, Wigan old boy Pat Richards, Richards is back in town. Uh, you, can, you know, you can score tries on the wing. You can plenty of goals. Todd Khan is playing for Catalan. And normally they're a lot better when he's in the side. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think they can win this one. You know, you've got to bear in mind Wigan won all the games at home last season. Catalan's away form is absolutely shocking. And we all know that. But this is early days. So I think they can keep them, you know, to the limits between six and ten points, certainly, and stay inside a big handicap. Again, though, you know, early days, so could be better looking at a couple of try scorers. You know, Manfredi, he, he would have to be my bet to be first try scorer in the game. But honestly, I think he'd be my value better the game. He's, you know, he's scoring tries for fun last year. He, he, you know, he, he, he could well be top scorer. I could see that in Super League this season, top try scorer. I think, you know, 7-1's to a bit short, but you know, he'll do for me. I think, you know, he's the best finisher in the league for me this season. I think he'll score a bag full. And, you know, it, Christian Anu, 16-1, to Catalan, you know, he, he gets his fair share. So there's some value there in try scorers. As for man of the match, I think this could be all about John Bateman. I think we were saying last last night, uh, it's not just about who the best player in the pitch is in these man of the match bets. It's, you know, who the Sky team think are the best man, the best player on the pitch. And last season, you know, they went for Bateman an awful lot in a lot of tight games. A lot of good forward battles. I think this could be the same. So... I think, you know, at about 12, 14 to 1, Bateman's a big price, and he'd definitely be a good choice for man of the match. And if Catalan will win, well, you know, Khan is 8 to 1, and, you know, the 3 to 1 to win the game, so that's nearly even money. And if Catalan win the game, he's the best player in the park, and that's just too short for me. I think someone like Richards, who, you know, the, the eyes will be on him, he used to play for Wigan, and let's see if he, he scores a try and kicks four goals, that's that, that's 12 points in the game, and, you know, it could be hard to ignore the man in the match purposes so yeah I'll, I'll probably say Bateman and Pat Richards for that one you know eight to one for Carney I think some people like that but yeah uh, not for me it's it like it, there's not much value there we're getting about four to five and a half time full time I think you know people really want did one about Wigan I think I'd rather that than the uh, ten point handicap margin you know if they're going to win by more than ten you'd expect them to win in a half time too they usually start quite well especially at home and like I said their own, their own record was it, it was spotless last year, wasn't it? The, the, the only game that's home game they lost was in the cup, but that was at Lee. They, even when they get, you know they took they went to Millwall, played Catalan in the Super Eights at Millwall. We can still win very convincingly. So you know, I, I, three to one's not enough for me for Catalan. But like I said, I do think they can stay inside the ten point handicap. Another game of the ten point handicaps at Hull of Sea against Salford. Now you know the, the dark horses this year, all the good people, but we seem to take that every year. And Salford, you know, they've been going about the business quietly. They let a few players go to Lee, but you know, in the camp they're all saying that they, you know, they let a few bad eggs go. So they're expecting morale to get better this year. Now uh, the new man, the new coach will need a good start. And uh, you know, I think they could they could give Hull problems tonight. You know, I think Robert Louis is a great acquisition at half back. And again, I think Hull will probably just hang on and win the game. I think Salford again about three to one, not quite enough for me. But the one to four Hull, that's no value at all. But I think again, Salford. Getting ten points on the handicap, that's that's probably where I'd go again, you know. And in the third game tonight, the game I was mentioning, which I probably would rather see on the telly, but it's really getting eight start. Now these team two teams are playing on a neutral venue, I'd rate really these a scratch, so there's no way that this home advantage is worth eight points for Saints. I mean the Huddersfield, you know, for for all it was close last year, that's the end of finishing above Saints. And I, you know, there's not many games where Saints have managed to beat the Giants by more than eight points. So I definitely think that they can stay well inside that and I have to be honest the the five to two for Huddersfield to win the game is very tempting too, but I think they will miss uh, Robinson and and Craig Huby. So yeah, that probably just puts you. And like I say, again, it is early days, but they might, you know, the small stakes bet in the first week of the season could be, you know, travel on the three outsiders. It could be, you know, Catalan plus ten, Salford plus ten, and you know, plus eight for Huddersfield. It could be a nice little travel lap, but uh, I'm not, you know, you just don't know this time. It, it's it, it is early days. You don't you don't want to be getting behind with the bookie. So we mentioned that yesterday. It's you know, it's a long season. You don't want to be doing your doing in the first couple of weeks of the season. Your best, these games are best just watched. You know, small bets just for a bit of interest. That's fair enough. But you know, if two good returns, that's what we're about here. But like I said, I do fancy Catalan on the handicap, and 
in, in the three games tonight. I fancy, you know, fancy the outsiders and all three on the handicap. That could be the way to go. We'll be back with a Sunday treble. I'll see you later. Ta-da.